What's up, guys? It's Saturday. We're, uh, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? We're, um, uh, working on the engine test stand. Got the headers all bolted up. They look pretty sweet. So, just working on the radiator mount now. I uh, ran out of steel, so I stopped here. I'm going to end up doing a crossbar and then a 45 with some sheet metal. And then I can have my ignition controls and my tack and oil pressure and everything mounted here. And then this will lift out so I can still storage or store it, you know, easily without a problem. I've still got to weld the inside of uh, the flange on these set of headers. I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. Um, but everything's going good. Uh, this is Chevaholic. Matt, mate, thanks very much for um, showing me the uh, inside of that 33. The reason I ask is uh, this might look a little familiar to you. It... Uh, I don't know if it's a 33 or 34, I can't tell, um, and I have no knowledge of this stuff, but this is, sure it's just a grill shell, but it's a grill shell off my next project, because I was able to get a hold of a 33 or 34 five window coupe, and the wood is all completely rotted, um, the body's not here, it's at a friend's place. I just don't have the space for it at the moment. It'll be a while away, but the wood's completely rotted out, but the steel's in great shape, so at some point, I think, whenever I get to that project, I'll uh, tackle remaking the inner structure out of some steel tubing, and uh, that footage you gave me is really awesome, so thanks very much, because now I can see where it ran around the window channels and in the corner and stuff. It's really, really helpful for me to have that. Just uh, don't take that video down in the next year or so, so I can uh, reference it. Um, a bunch of things are shifting around. Um, so because of that, uh, the Trans Am, I'm just still getting completely raped with uh, California DMV. Um, it's still on Texas Rego, which is expired now, and so I, uh, I really just can't do anything with it. It'll, it'll never pass smog as it is, and I've tried all manner of shady ways to do it, and uh, somewhat unsuccessfully. Now the plan is, is uh, gonna pull the motor out of the Trans Am, and do an LS conversion in it. This is future project sort of overall scheme of things, but if I do an LS conversion in that, I can daily drive it to San Francisco. Everything will be cool. Um, I'll have this guy running for the weekend, and then the 455 that's in that, I uh, can take the 33 or 34, whatever it is. I'll get some footage to show you at some point, and maybe you guys can tell me, because I just can't tell. And then I'll take the 455 and put it in whatever frame. Hopefully, I'm going to try and build a frame or something like that. I'd like it a real sort of challenging fabrication project. So, um, drop the 455 in whatever frame I build for this and put the body on it. But I want to get all this started because the process that's a uh, 10 and a half to 1 compression this guy and he's dusty as hell unfortunately but this thing really moves I mean it makes only 600 foot pounds at 3300 rpm it's uh, it's, it, it's an awesome motor so and it's pretty ridiculous for a daily driving kind of car so I thought what I should do is get myself a 871 and put it on top of that 455 and not that I needed this 871 in the next six, eight months, maybe a year, but I wanted it because it's good motivation. I'll get it out in a little bit and show you because the thing's awesome. Here it is. In the best finish of all. It's from uh, Dyers in Chicago. This is by far, out of all blowers, I think these the castings just look awesome. They do everything there. They don't make their intakes for Pontiacs, uh, their intakes for a BDS. Um, that's still in another box that I gotta get shipped along with the front drive assembly. But this guy just showed up, so I uh, thought I'd show you guys. But definitely good incentive to get the motor out of the Trans Am and put different pistons in it and get that project started with the LS. And just looking at this thing assembled, you know, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Completely unnecessary and not necessarily the best uh, financial option as far as what order to do shit in, but 
sometimes you just gotta have something like this. So, yeah. And there it is. Got to get it out, but I'm not going to leave it out for too long. I definitely don't want any dust in it. And like I said, still got to get the front drive and uh, intake and everything else. But it's uh, I'm just think I'm just going to have it in the house and look at it and be one of those things I can enjoy. Thing is beautiful. Oh yeah, pretty awesome. They got these fillet end plates. It's like they redesigned. Dyer's redesigned their cases, uh, their end plates only a year ago they gave this I, I really like this better with the ribs in it it looks it's a little old, more old school pretty cool stuff but yeah so this thing is gonna be uh, pretty sweet on top of that 455 and uh, long ways off but definitely very cool and worth looking at so I'm gonna put it back in the box and get it back inside so it doesn't get any crap in it and uh, yeah just thought I'd share this and with my uh, impractical mindset and thought process this seems like the best thing to do right now I definitely have a lot of interest in the wood and everything that's going on inside of that car just because like I said this body this five window doesn't have any of that and there's it's just hard to get any kind of reference to figure out what I'm gonna do so that is definitely the plan in a long way so I appreciate it again thanks Matt and um, I'm pretty stoked with this grill, actually. Uh, I think this thing is in really, really nice shape. I saw that aftermarket one that you had. You said it didn't really fit. This is uh, this is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, long ways off. A lot of shuffling and doing things, but that's kind of my overall plan to uh, get all my shit usable across, you know, driving and everything else, daily usage and DMV and you know, California sucks. Blah blah blah. All that stuff. So that is the plan, but otherwise it's Saturday. So uh, I'm gonna try and get the pulleys and everything put on this. I got my um, all my march set up for this with the alternator. Try and get that bolted on. A couple more things, a bit of visual progress. Uh, I did find this is interesting after having the headers off. Uh, my Z bar or Z bar linkage is actually, um, if you can see it, it's actually casing out on the the high side of the block in here. Uh, under rotation. I only noticed that now that I've had it out of the car because I, I didn't have this bracket until the motor was last in. So I'm going to uh, clearance this down a little bit because it, it can't pivot smoothly because it's hitting the casting here. So that's another little project I'm going to try and do this afternoon and uh, we'll just get going on it. But it's Saturday. Hey, Shani, what are you doing, bud? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? You sit? Good boy. Give me five. Oh, good boy. Give me beer. Go on. Give me beer. Quick, hurry. Bring it. Come on. Get it. Bring it. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy, huh? Good boy. Hi. Hey. There it is. Happy Saturday. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy honey. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Did you believe that I got you a March 17 pulley set up for my engine for I'm Valentine's so Day? Very excited. So excited. Get it. Okay. Thank you, honey. Yeah, this is this is this is just for you. <gasps> oh, I shouldn't have, right? Oh my goodness. For me? For you. For me, but you can unwrap it. Bolts! Just, just bolts. Just bolts. In the world. Black, boy. All black, everything. Yeah, that's right. Very, very beautiful. Holy one. Is this Four. the best Valentine's Day you've had, buddy? Blondie, has Blondie been on? Hi, Blondie. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> little, little gremlin. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at that, like a nice. bullet. There you go front of a jet. That's beautiful, honey. I love it. You're welcome. Thank you. And now you get to install it because my biggest Valentine's gift to you is free labor. <laughs> Bread box. Whoa. There it is. It's a black 
alternator to match everything else. We gotta pull that junky looking chrome pulley off there, but that? some white. Yeah. What's going on that? Yeah, the fan one. This? Yeah. Wow, it looks slick. Super slick. And it's been tested. Tested. Kid tested. Good job. We got directions. Oh, that's helpful. Manuel. Definitely need those. There it is. Happy Valentine's Day again. Thank you, baby. All right, there it is with the uh, March setup on it. We can get more basic. Just no accessories, alternator, water pump. That's it. And it's looking pretty good. I've been sitting out here for a while. I just keep looking at it mostly because uh, uh, dipsticks here is still just hanging, so I'm ignore that for now. But it uh, does look pretty cool. Looks like it's ready to go. So hopefully, if I figure out all my craziness, I can use the radiator out of the firebird if I pull that out soon enough and the ignition and the distributor. Save myself a fair bit of money on doing that. Um, so it's another reason I want to fast track pulling the motor from that since I can't really use it anymore anyways. So most likely, I checked out the part numbers and uh, according, it's a B cool rad and I called up the tech guys and dimension wise the radiator is off by half an inch um, between the firebird one and the a-body one so uh, otherwise everything else is fine so I think I'll be fine plus this was originally a six cylinder car so the core support radiator support was different anyway because it was for a six cylinder rad so I gotta modify it regardless so that's not a huge uh, issue but yeah very cool. I, uh, really, I'm really glad I got the black finish on these. So, things are good. Well, thanks for checking it out, and then hopefully I can get you guys another update of getting her all buttoned up. And I think next thing I'm going to do is prime. So, I'll try and get a video of uh, see if I can get all the uh, oil to all the rockers and oil pressure and everything because can't really go any further without that. But yeah. And uh, thanks again, Matt, for uh, giving me the uh, tour of the wood in that 33. And hopefully sometime in the next year or so, you guys will see a similar build with a blown Pontiac in it, which will be super fun. Awesome. All right. Cheers, guys.